Today, we're going to be talking about Pelterian and the one tool you already have to create AI models. First, we're going to be talking about the features of this platform. Because you can do so many things with this platform, what I would do is first look at the product tab and look at all the things you could be doing with the power of AI. You can be doing a lot with text or video, so many different things. Also too, what I wanna mention is under the products tab underneath, it will talk about features. This allows you to see the different features on the platform, what you're able to do, the visual programming with deep learning and all of these things that are very advanced. We're just going to highlight that there's more details and more information available on this tab. But what I would really encourage you to do is first write down on a piece of paper, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to accomplish? If you're still unsure of it, you're like, this is way too over my head. That's why they have AI explained and allows you to understand different parts of AI, such as chatbots, sentiment analysis, speech to text. Then it allows it to be a little bit more tangible. They give you some use cases that you could be doing, but this is just a few different options. When you're using this framework with machine learning and artificial intelligence, remember, you can be putting this in so many different verticals and different industries. Right here, we're seeing things in agriculture. We're seeing this in the healthcare space. Think about this. You can be doing a lot in the crypto space. You can be doing things with image recognition if you're in trading cards. What's most important is critical thinking and understanding your industry and what you're looking to do and not just thinking that AI can solve all of your problem. It's important that you understand the basics of machine learning and AI so there you can structure your data the right way. Keep in mind there's a link for Faster AI, the course, but I have already made all of the notes for you you're welcome. That's going to be in the link down below so you can see the outline and understand what this course is about. The course takes about an hour plus, but if you look at our outline, we're going to be saving you about 50 minutes if you look at our notes. What I love about this course is it allows you to first get a framework of what AI is and what the power of machine learning is and this technological shift that we're in right now with having machine learning in AI. Also, it allows you in the course to understand the power of the different type of tasks that you could be creating when you understand what machine learning and AI can do. It also breaks down the difference between artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning. And a lot of times, these are just buzzwords thrown around. In this course, it allows you to clearly understand what these things are and then decide what's the best case for your project. It also talks about things to consider when you're creating these AI modeling or when you're building these things out, there could be unintended pitfalls or consequences based on different things that could be happening to the data. So the course is really allowing you to really have some weight before you just go gun ho and start building your first uh, model. What we broke down right here was the example lab, building your first AI modeling with text data. And this allows you to work on or look at the natural language processing with disaster tweets. And we did a breakdown and a play-by-play -play how you can be doing this. What I like about this platform is when they're giving you these assignments and allowing you to test out this AI modeling, they allow you to get a data source, have that in a CSV file, then bring it over and then allow you to plug it into the system and go through the steps of setting up the model, deploying it, then understanding how you can gain access to put it out into the wild, so to speak, or now that you've trained the model, what you need to do next. Not only did they give me all of the resources and doing all of these things, but now I saw from beginning to end how I could then go out and find other data sources and go through the same motions. It wasn't something that was just abstract and then I was just left on my own. There was a few notes that I would say about the experiment as well. It talks about different things that you have to do to make sure that the performance is, that you're doing a good job. It talks about how you can be training the data, looking at it and making sure that you're just not plugging it in and just saying like, that's good enough. Yeah, you can go from there. It's really allowing you to understand the critical thinking behind it and what you need to do to be proficient. Logging into the platform, there are so many different tutorials based on what kind of models you're trying to create. I, I like how it's 
it's so many different array, like a music uh, lyric analyzer, skin cancer detection, build your own music critic, car damage assessment. There's so many things that you can be doing with this, with, with this modeling. This allows you to clearly understand how you can be using this. It allows you to follow the tutorial. After talking to the team and reading over this, what I really think that they're trying to help you to understand is you need to have critical thinking as you're using this. You cannot just go in there and do a plug and play and, and think that, well, I, I saw this. I could just now create this kind of business. You still need to have critical thinking. You need to have expertise in your field. And then you can be utilizing these models to be able to accelerate what you would be doing manually or things that just aren't possible. It can now do because it has so many options with this platform. The tutorials that they have on this platform, Peltarion, it wasn't too technical or the jargon wasn't too much. Under the learn tab where it says knowledge center, I like the documentation where you had tutorials, but also what I liked was the cheat sheets. So if we look at the problem types, it breaks down image segmentation, image similarity cheat sheet. Now I'm getting a framework of where I need to be. And also too, it allows me to have a no code cheat sheet and it allows me to have the BERT cheat sheet as well. And once you go through the fast AI course, you'll see what it stands for. But for the no code cheat sheet, you're, you're going to be able to utilize a lot of different platforms that you have already been using in no code zapier bubble and the list goes on and on to really take advantage of using this platform and now it feels doable you don't feel overwhelmed if you're familiar with some of these tools that you find no code okay let's talk about the elephant in the room what about pricing what are we looking at first of all when you're getting started it actually starts for free it starts for free this allows so many different people from around the world it, it, it's there's no barrier to price to get started to see these models in real life to start playing with them and see if it's going to help you affect the world or just test your idea there are limitations with the free plan but you can have one user three training hours and one live deployment once you're at that point and now you're ready to scale, now you can be looking at 49 to 499 uh, euros a month. It's really important to note though, it's gonna be scaling up what you can be doing. At 49, you're gonna be having still one user, but 15 training hours per month. You can train three experiments or models at the same time and three live deployments. Again, this allows you to scale depending on what you're working on. To get started though, and if you're just unsure, you're trying to test it out, try out the free plan to get started and then go from there. If you're unsure about this and you're saying, but wait, I'm just, I'm too nervous. I don't think I can do this. We got you. Remember, we have that link down below for all the notes that we took for the Faster AI course. Again, download the course is free. They offer for free, but a lot of times you're unsure of what to press, what to do. Right here, we break down step-by-step -step what they say in the course. We give you notes, all of those things, and then we have a video breakdown of all of the actions that we took when we were creating this. Try it out. The course is awesome. And this section right here, we timed it out from the start of getting our uh, materials in launching or deploying the AM. AI model, it took us less than 15 minutes. Okay, so like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, what tool have you been using all along that you could be using Peltarian with? You can be using Google Sheets. That's right. This platform automatically already has an add-on feature with Google Sheets to actually use this right now. There's going to be a link somewhere that mentions the video that Peltarian already has made to show you the power of using Google Sheets and using this technology to help you with your business. That's just one example. So what are you waiting for? It's time for you to take action. Remember in the comment section down below, let me know what you're working on and how you plan on using this. I'll see you in the next video.